You have to have 40 credits to get social security. 40 credits, you can get four credits in a year. So I always just tell people, you gotta work 10 years. You work 10 years, you pay into social security, they take out the FICA taxes, and after 10 years, you are paid up. You'll get Medicare and you'll get social security. Now, if you only work 10 years, you're not going to get very much money, but you will qualify for the program. So the 10 years do not have to be consecutive. Most people are gonna work consecutively 10 years. Most people are gonna work a lot longer than that. But if you didn't, let's say you only worked eight years, can you get some of the credits? Can you borrow them from your spouse or from your parents or somebody? Can, can you beg, borrow, or steal more credits to put you over the threshold? The answer is a harsh no. You have to work it. So I have people all the time and they're like, hey, my mom is just three credits short. Well, she could go earn three credits this year. You can earn a maximum of four credits a year. And that doesn't mean she has to work all year. There's a certain dollar amount per credit. So she might just work a little bit for a couple months of the year so that she finally pays in and qualifies. For a lot of people, when they're at the edge of, on the cusp of retirement, the last thing they want to hear is go back to work, right? They, they're like, ah, no, that ship has sailed. I'm not going back to work. Well, you, you won't qualify on your own work history. And like I said, you can't borrow or have them gifted from your spouse but you might just qualify for social security off a spouse. So a lot of people don't realize that the social security rules allow you to qualify off an ex-spouse. So let's say you were married to your ex-spouse 10 years. That's the threshold. That's been 10 full consecutive years. Even though that was 30 years ago, even though you haven't talked to the guy in 30 years, you still qualify to draw social security off that marriage. That's a qualifying marriage because it lasted 10 years because you are at least 62, your ex-spouse is at least 62, you have not remarried. For you to draw off somebody else, you have to currently be single. Even though in those ensuing 20, 30 years, I might've gotten married and divorced again. I'm currently single, I'm currently 62, my ex-spouse is 62, so I will draw social security off my ex-spouse's record because I can't draw off my own record. Now. I don't have to wait for him to draw or her, it's gender neutral. He just has to turn 62. As long as he's at least 62, I'm at least 62, I would file on socialsecurity.gov as a spouse. Now, if I'm married, we'll say I'm over here, I'm married now, and I only have to be married one year, and my spouse has worked long enough to qualify for Social Security and Medicare, so I'm gonna qualify off my new marriage. I only have to be married one year, not the 10 years. Everybody thinks the 10, one year. But the problem here, and this is my example of handcuffs, so you're stuck, you're handcuffed, because if my spouse doesn't want to draw his own social security now, I can't draw. I can't draw off my married spouse if I'm married. And a lot of you guys are married, but you don't live together or you never live together. You don't talk, you don't know. There's a lot of you out there telling me that. That's okay, you're still legally married. The legal marriage rules still apply, whether you've seen this guy in 20 years or not. If you're not divorced, you're still married. I can't draw off my spouse if I'm married unless he draws his own benefit. So if he's like, yeah, I want to work five more years. I don't have enough work credits. I didn't have enough for myself to draw off my own work history. So I got to wait. I can't get anything until he draws. And this is something where you guys as a couple can strategize on. Because if I can't get anything until he draws, I'm, it might benefit us both for him to draw a year or two earlier than he planned even though he's gonna get a slight reduction because I'll be able to get up to 50% of his amount by him filing. So you might wanna work with a financial planner or a CPA that's well attuned to the social security rules. Don't get somebody that's gonna wing it because it might financially benefit him even though it sounds contra to common sense. The longer he works, the more he would get. He might get more by getting me part of a benefit now. So. The main part of this video is if you didn't qualify, you might qualify off your spouse after one year of marriage, off of a former spouse, if that lasted 10 years and you're currently single, or if your former spouse has passed away, again, that former marriage had to have lasted 10 years and you have to be currently single. But if you're gonna draw off your own work history, you have to do the work yourself. There's no way around it. And it might be easier than you think, the threshold to get those couple extra credits that you need. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. If you like this video, you might really like this video. Check it out. 
And we'd appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a great video. We put out one every week. Check in the description below this video for a link to our cheat sheet on Social Security and Medicare. And you can also give us a comment. If you have a specific question, always feel free to call us or email us at the Medicare family.